Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at correlation, which is a measure of how related the two variables are. So it is quantifying the strength of the relationship. A large correlation would mean that the two variables are exactly linear related. Versus a weaker correlation means that, yes, they do follow a general pattern, but they're a bit more scattered. So we're going to look at that correlation, and the numerical measure of that relationship is called the correlation coefficient. Now, it is important to remember that we are looking specifically at linear correlation. So the correlation coefficient that we're measuring is measuring the strength of a linear correlation. If the variables are related very strongly in a non-linear way, our correlation coefficient is not going to measure that. It's not going to check for that. So let's check out these examples here of different types of correlation. So in our first look, we have strong positive correlation. So we know from our intro video on linear regression that positive correlation is what happens when we have one variable increasing as the other variable increases. The word strong there indicates how clustered around the line of best fit are the data values. In this picture, you can see that all of my data values are very, very close to my line of best fit. That's what we're talking about as a strong correlation. These two variables are very close to a almost perfect linear relationship, so they are strongly correlated. Compare that here to a weak positive correlation. So it is still the case that in general, as one variable increases, so does the other, but our, our data values are much more spread out around our line of best fit. So they have a much weaker positive correlation. Of course, we can also have negative correlation where as one variable increases, the other variable decreases. And in this case, in this one we're looking at here in the top corner, that one would be a pretty strong negative correlation. Our data values are clustered around the line. Looking now at the bottom row, we have a weak negative correlation, still generally following that as the x variable increases, the y variable is decreasing, but we're less clustered. We can also have kind of a middle ground. We don't always have to have strong or weak. It's not only option A or option B. There's kind of a middle ground. And that would be where we're generally more tightly clustered, but not quite as almost perfect as here. So we would call that a moderate negative correlation. So if you compare that to strong and weak, you can kind of see it's in the middle. And then finally, you can have where your data is not really positive or negatively linear related. It's kind of all over the place. And so there we would say that is no correlation. Okay, so let's look at some information about correlation coefficients and how do we determine, are we weak, strong, that kind of thing. So again, correlation coefficient is gonna be our numerical measure of how strongly related our data values are in a linear fashion. So correlation coefficient is a measure that is between negative one and one. And correlation coefficient is usually uh, R is the variable that we use for that. Correlation coefficient not only tells us the strength, it also tells us the direction of our correlation. So a positive correlation will have a positive correlation coefficient. A correlation coefficient at or near zero is going to be no correlation or a very, very weak correlation. The closer that we get to one, the stronger our correlation gets in the positive direction. Anything that's about at the halfway point, so kind of close to 0 0.5, we would call that moderate. So that's where moderate lives, is kind of in the middle. On the negative side, if we have a negative correlation, so that type of relationship where the x is increasing but the y is decreasing, a value near 0 is going to be a weak correlation. A value near negative 0 0.5 is going to be a moderate negative correlation and a value near negative one is going to be a strong negative correlation. 
So let's look back at a previous example, our runner example, if you've watched our linear relation, our linear regression uh, example video. When we look at our readout from the screen, we can see that we have a correlation coefficient of 0 0.99. You can also check out a picture of the scatter plot and its linear regression line running through it. So we can see from the picture that our data values are very, very close to the line. In fact, almost all of them are on the line. So both this positive value, very close to 1 at 0 0.99, and our picture show us that we would classify our runner example as having a strong positive linear correlation or linear relationship. All right, guys, that does it for our intro. We'll catch you in the next video.